This is a 2000 Chevy truck, complained of uh, no heat. It's four wheel drive. The first thing I want to check on this truck with heating problem is if it has antifreeze in the reserve. And it does. And after running it, both heater hoses are equally hot. And they are. So. The heat's getting in there, inside the cab, the heater core, and getting out of it. The next thing will be to take the covers off of the lower heat box. Take a board out there, looks like some in the middle there. And a temperature control actuator is underneath there. And I'll see if it's uh, moving like it's supposed to be. I got the lower cover off. Now here's the ashtray. And there's the temperature door actuator. First thing I want to do is turn the ignition switch on. The daytime running lamps are on. You can uh, push this dome light and override that. Push it a couple times and it shuts them off so you don't run the battery down. There's the cover that goes underneath the heater box. Okay, I got the switch on. I got the heater controls. I got the blower motor on one. So that turns everything on. And now what I want to watch it is it rotates the temperature gauge and watch the shaft back here and see if it rotates. That does, but a little bit, and the whole motor's moving. There it goes all the way. The door's getting caught on something. Hmm. Well, the motor's not stripped out. I took the actuator motor off and uh, working the door by hand, fingers, and it, it's pretty easy to turn, so the motor must be wore out. Just not able to drive it sometimes. I'll just get another one and replace it. There's a complaint about the recirculation door not opening and closing, but it won't if the mode button is farther to the right than this. It will open outside air from here to about there, but after that, the outside air gets shut off. So that's a normal function for to keep more heat in or cold or whatever, whatever it's needing to do it up in them higher positions. I guess the computer can override it too if if it's too hot for the air conditioner to do its job. It can close off the outside air. Which I always recommend anyway to keep the head pressure down on the air conditioner.